Hi, I'm Dr. Biresh. I'm back again with a new video this time for a cesarean scar ectopic which is of uh, endophytic type and even this uh, ectopic pregnancy was disturbed by uh, previous blind dilatation and curettage and the patient had persistent uh, bleeding. So here you can see that we have entered the uterus by vaginoscopic approach. The uterine cavity appears to be empty. Both the tubal osteas were seen and the rest of the endometrium showed a distual reaction. So this is the uh, region of the isthmus and you can see in the upper part there is a trophoblastic tissue attached to the isthmocele region uh, more closer to the proximal ridge of the isthmocele. So that is the the attachment uh, of the uh, ectopic pregnancy and the trophoblastic tissue uh, to the isthmocele region. So that's the 360 degree view of the uh, trophoblastic tissue and the disturbed scar ectopic pregnancy where you can visualize uh, the villi as well. Probably this was a little bit uh, advanced uh, cesarean scar endophytic type of uh, cesarean scar pregnancy. The patient gives history of amenorrhea of uh, roughly around two and a half months following which she had a uh, bleeding and then uh, a blind uh, dilatation and evacuation was done following which the patient persisted to have vaginal bleeding and presented to us. On evaluation, we could find uh, hyperechoic mass in the isthmocele region with uh, vascularity. So, and our urine pregnancy test was positive. So, with that, uh, we proceeded uh, for uh, hysteroscopic resection as the residual myometrial thickness uh, was good, which was approximately around uh, 5 millimeter. And here you can see once again uh, the empty uterine cavity and the decidual uh, reaction uh, can be visualized. And the, both the tubal ostia are also visualized. As I withdraw the scope um, facing the bewildered uh, uh, 30 degree lens, facing upwards, you can see the scar tissue which is adherent to the isthmocele part. So the plan was to uh, resect the scar tissue uh, with the resectoscope as the, it had vascularity and second thing was uh, the second idea was to correct the uh, isthmocele also by flattening the proximal and the distal edge so as to unify the cavity and the isthmocele pocket. So with that uh, here I've used the uh, uh, 26 French uh, monopolar uh, loop electrode uh, since uh, that was the one which was available at that time of the procedure. So here with the short bursts of uh, uh, cutting current, I'm just um, resecting the scar from the area of the, the proximal ridge and the isthmocel region of uh, proximal ridge of the isthmocel. So you can see this with the short burst and just a gentle uh, uh, push of the loop. I could separate the that of plastic tissue. Now what I am attempting is uh, scooping out the proximal ridge so as to flatten the uh, isthmocel with that of the uterine cavity. So that's the proximal edge. Uh, I'm doing this confidently because uh, on scan, I had seen that the residual myometrial thickness was good and the bladder was uh, pretty much away. So that's the uh, proximal, uh, uh, the ridge of the isthmocele flattened uh, with that of the uterine cavity. And that is the trophoblastic uh, tissue, probably the remnants of the scar uh, ectopic pregnancy. So. That's uh, just inspecting the isthmocel region. This is the right side and probably that's the distal ledge or probably the uh, internal loss. So that is almost in line with the isthmocel uh, cavity. So I'm not much resecting the distal uh, ridge. 
so on the right medial aspect i could see some hypertrophic uh, mucosa probably uh, uh, the pregnancy induced uh, changes or probably the chronic inflammation associated with uh, isthmocel so i have resected uh, those hyperplastic uh, 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 looking uh, mucosa as well so so that completes the resection of the um, cesarean scar disturbed cesarean scar ectopic with uh, remnants of uh, the trophoblastic tissue as well as correction of uh, isthmocele so thank you all for uh, watching